settle life in Bombay to a totally different place <laughs> in Bangalore. You currently have three personal loans. There was a mistake from my end. I applied for two, three banks. Uh, all the three gave me loans actually. So how much loan did you actually need? I can see that you are asking your wife. Hello and welcome to a fresh episode of Fix Your Finance powered by Cred. Cred is the best app to pay your credit card bills on time. They send you timely reminders and every time you pay a bill, वो आपको क्रेजी रिवॉर्ड्स और ऑफर्स देते हैं तो अभी के अभी क्रेडिट कोड डाउनलोड कीजिए आज हमारे साथ है 38 एट ईयर ओल्ड शॉन थॉमस हु वर्क्स एज अ सीनियर मैनेजर एट अ पेमेंट गेटवे कंपनी सो इन हाउ लॉन्ग आई यू इन दिस पेमेंट गेटवे इंडस्ट्री सो आई एम इन इन दिस इंडस्ट्री फॉर ऑलमोस्ट नाइन ईयर्स राइट नाउ एंड हैव यू बीन इन बैंगलोर सिंस दोज नाइन ईयर सिंस दीज नाइन ईयर आई स्टार्ट माई कैरियर पी जी कैरियर फ्रॉम बॉम्बे so last 8 years i was in bombay i am actually pretty new to bangalore only i have been in bangalore for one year when you shifted to bangalore did you get a raise in your new company i got a very good uh, raise in my new company that is the reason i took this decision to shift from a settled life in bombay to a totally different place uh, for in bangalore okay so earlier what was your total compensation in bombay so in bombay my compensation was 9 lakhs per annum So here I got a compensation of uh, 14 lakhs. And what is your uh, monthly in-hand income? Uh, it would be around one lakh per month. I get fifteen thousand as a rent uh, from a property I am having actually. And uh, did you buy the property like way back, or was it like an ancestral property or something? It is actually an ancestral property that came to us. Who all are there in your family right now? So we are four members myself wife and i have two small boys and do you take care of all the expenses yes so currently how much are you paying for this house this house i am paying around uh, 20000 so how much do you spend in grocery and everything uh, it comes to around 3500 a month okay, what about the baby food? baby food extra would be 10000 actually for yeah. both the kids how do you travel like do you have a car you mentioned yeah, that you have i have a car. a car so my petrol cost is a big cost for me it's around a 7 7k because i and my wife we both like driving so we go on long drives on weekends for your bike and car do you have an existing loan so my car is very new or oh, one one and a half years uh, it has been bought and i pay around 14000 rupees as an emi for that and my uh, interest rate is 9.6 and what is the total loan amount 8.6 okay so how old are your kids right now elder one is 4 years old and the younger one is 3 years old so are they going in school right now uh, yeah my elder one is going into school the younger one has got admission for next year so what is the expected fee amount for both the kids yeah, and what is the amount that you are paying for one kid right now my el- elder one's this year fees has become to 1 lakh admission fees and that's a one time expense and 70000 as his fees for one year that and is this like nursery or junior kg i'm assuming nursery <laughs> nursery <laughs> yes so how did you plan this amount like did you save it up or like is it like a monthly outlay how does it work for these expenses i had to take out a personal loan that was not only for this but for few of my un um, unexpected events that happens uh, during my last year one of them was transferred to bangalore second one was the admission for kids few little of my treatment for my wife also i had to take a loan of around that 12 lakh rupees so you took a collective personal loan of around 12 lakhs yes and uh, what was the interest back then there was a mistake from my end i actually applied for loan when i was in a notice period on my present company i applied for two three banks uh, all the three gave me loan actually okay <laughs> Uh, one bank gave me three lakh loan. One, uh, two other bank gave me around nine lakh. They divided into nine lakh, so around four point five loans each. So, how much loan did you actually need? I actually, t- I needed twelve lakh rupees loan actually. Okay. So, okay. basically, it came in three different came from three different banks. You currently have three personal loans. Yes. And what is the total EMI that you are spending? Twenty-eight thousand. Can you help me with the interest rate of each personal loan? So one is twelve and one is twelve point five. One is ten, ten point five. Sir, if you don't mind me asking, since how long have you been working? I have been working for the last thirteen uh, years. And when did you start saving? <laughs> after marriage, after my wife came. <laughs> and how long has it been since? Uh, four, uh, four years. <laughs> so, uh, was the income back then very low, or were you like, did you like spending and all? Actually, to be honest, the hike recently, which has come, 
it has only come in the last four years because if we can even say that i was underpaid during my last uh, jobs i got to know the jagannath of getting more money bargaining more money towards interviews in the last two three organizations so i had very long tenures in my previous organizations career wise growth was good but uh, monetary wise growth was actually very less that's a very sad part right that any employer will not give a 100 200% hike to their existing employee yes right but if they want to hire from outside they will give them whatever they whatever need they do you currently have any savings the only savings i am having is around 2 uh, 2 lakhs that to in our fd uh, fixed deposit so that is a decent amount including all your loans and your expenses how much do you think you and your family are spending every month uh we would be spending around uh, uh i can see that you are asking <laughs> your wife who takes these financial decisions ki ye loan lena hai ye ye karna hai the decisions are been taken by my but uh, the uh, how to arrive at numbers had been taken out by my wife and <laughs> okay so what was the amount Uh, it's around uh, 70 uh, 70 75 thousand i spend every month so which means that you have a safety net of around 3 months so i am looking out ways how can i actually close this personal loan actually at the earliest first thing that i would recommend is take a piece of paper and write down all the loans in the descending order of their interest rates okay. the loan with the highest interest rate should be first and the loan with the lowest interest rate should be the last and then whatever extra that you are able to save every month just put that extra amount in the first loan what is the highest interest rate that you are paying 12 and a half 12 and a half okay so that is the first loan that you should look at finishing it yeah okay so you just whatever you are able to save because of your kids expenses going down put that extra amount every month okay after some time that loan will be finished earlier then take up whatever extra emi was into the second one okay so now what is happening is you are creating a snowball because you are using your extra savings plus the emi amount of the first loan and putting it all together and adding it to the second emi what you are basically doing is you are prepaying the principal okay. so that the interest component goes down okay. Okay. now this is easier said than done you need a proper budget okay to get more clarity what i would suggest is for the next 2 months track every expense both of you as a couple and then get an idea what is a fixed expense and what are some variable expenses okay and then figure out what all can be cut down to put more in your emis so are there any areas currently where you can cut down your expenses uh, yeah my, one is my fuel cost that can be cut down okay second thing would be the kids expenses that is cut down because he has grown up with four loans no your goal should not be to invest and grow your money because there is negative compounding happening for you okay you know along with this i would also recommend you to keep saving 5 10000 extra and increase your fd amount that 2 lakh rupees should ideally become 3 or 4 lakhs eventually because you have responsibilities and you need at least 5 to 6 months of savings at your disposal all these things will not happen in a month or two it will take some time you also said that there are only a few avenues where you can decrease your expenses yeah ओके उसके बाद आप अपने एक्सपेंस और कम नहीं कर पाओगे आई सी दैट यू हैव बीन इन द प्रोफेशनल कॉर्पोरेट वर्ल्ड सिंस 12 13 इयर्स इज देयर अ वे फॉर यू टू स्टार्ट कंसल्टिंग और स्टार्ट सम साइड गिग सो दैट यू कैन इंक्रीज योर इनकम टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट आई एम एक्चुअली थिंकिंग ऑफ डूइंग समथिंग कंसल्टेंसी बिकॉज़ आई नो माय एरिया ऑफ एक्सपर्टाइज एंड यू नो आई एम वेरी गुड एट सर्टेन लेवल्स at par at par market price just trying to figuring out how to get clients for it an easy and low cost method is to start sharing your experience on linkedin twitter and everything okay so that, that we, yeah so basically people point. people will discover you for the first time yeah. as of now only people who have either worked with you or your family members know what sean thomas brings to the table Yes. but once you start talking about it on the internet then two things will happen firstly you're not spending anything on marketing second Correct. if you really have the expertise you will find the right audience eventually yes that that's very uh, that's an unexplored area for me i never explored this area actually do that and just for just follow the right people understand how they are writing what they are doing most of the people today are focused on either 
reducing their expenses or growing their investments but the base of both the things is your income yes. so the focus is how can you grow your income so that you can invest more you can clear out your loans faster and you do not have to reduce your expenses okay sean so this is our rapid fire round aapko jald se jald answers dena hai number 1 if you had an unlimited budget what would you gift your spouse i would gift my for a villa villa in dubai <laughs> oh very nice if you had an unlimited budget what would you gift yourself one uh, bugatti <laughs> okay if you had to change one financial behavior in you or your family what would it be reduce my emi <laughs> Next question how much do you think you need for your retirement I would require around uh, 10 crores in my bank balance and with all the uh, other for necessities fulfilled at the time of the retirement and the last question is what is what are your financial goals for the next 5 years we are actually planning for a house uh, to settle down in a city so next 5 years my primary goal is to get a house and to start an housing loan and to fix all my present financial <laughs> I will add to that. Number one, you need to get rid of your loans. For that, you have to t- do step number two, which is increase your income by switching to a new company or starting a side gig. And third is, after all your liabilities are over, you start investing a small amount for your kids' future. And the last step is to plan for a home in the future. I hope you take all the necessary measures to fulfill all these goals in the next five years. On that positive note, we are towards the end of the video. Thank you so much for inviting us. It was a pleasure. And अगर आपको इस वीडियो में कुछ भी अच्छा लगा then do hit the like button. हम हर हफ्ते ऐसे अलग अलग videos लाते रहते हैं So if you don't want to miss out on any of them, subscribe and hit the bell notification. Goodbye. Thank you so much.